Hi, Grandma. My pee is over. It was an epic one. Boy, I should have sent it to Guinness World Records. Yeah, you pee like a waste horse. Indeed I did, my little minion. But anyway, on with this year's camping adventure. If you remember, this was the second day of our big camping trip and a big storm was coming. And maybe even a tornado. So Daddy decided to be prepared. Hi, you looking forward to the rain? Getting some thunder treats? Okay, I did my job, you get the rest. We have a plan for the storm. We're gonna shift and hug it up against the tent. It'll be glorious. So they're gonna shimmy the uh, picnic table. <laughs> ah, this is funny. Is it, can it get any closer or is it touching? The rain has begun just as soon as we got this set up. Kevin, come here, bud. With the rain beginning, Daddy brought out the thunder treats. So the Burke tradition of rain camping continues. The farmers are so happy because we get we bring rain for them. And, uh, you know, if you look back at 2020, big storm. Well, I guess we didn't totally miss the thunderstorms. Yogi, you're getting wet. Get out of the rain. 2021, big storm. What the heck? I changed the helmet. We're okay. Uh, our stuff! Not our mattresses, no! 2022 big storm. Stupid rain! Every year we go camping and it rains. This year was not an exception. And now 2023, there's leaving a tornado warning. It got really dark really fast. So we just got a massive thunderbolt right near the tent. We don't know where. So you guys are getting some thunder trees, but that scared all of us. Because it's really raining. Hey, biscuit. So to keep us from getting scared about the storm, Daddy played Sasquatch with us through the tent. So Liam's side of the tent got a little wet. Kevin and Biscuit, they were sleeping here and it's pretty dry. And Scott's good, so it's just, it's just Liam. The solitaire. Once it was over, Liam dried his side of the tent and we were ready to go. The rain has stopped, our nap's over, and now we're gonna go canoeing, even though it's already 4.30. Hi. <laughs> What's it gonna be like being in the canoe again for him? Hi. We picked up our canoe and headed off. We were pretty excited to be in a canoe again. We even got to do a porridge. Versez votre porridge dans un bol, ajoutez vos garnitures préférées et servez. Oh, wait, a portage to move the canoe to a bigger lake. Okay, we're claiming this island as Burke Island version 2. There's Burke Island. It's huge. We believe in lots of uh, island property. It's small. It's got one tree. It's how we roll. We believe in minimalism. One thing we believe in is minimalist camping. Very important. You don't bring anything extra that you don't want to have when we're camping, so we pick the smallest islands to visit. Pretty small. When we got to Biscuit Island, as I like to call it, we got to get out and stretch our legs. Whee! There you go, and I can go pee. This is, this is not much of an island. Come on. 
There you go. Come on, Biscuit. Come on, Kevin. Uh, Biscuit, where are you going? Kevin proved he's quite the water bug this year. He swam everywhere. Tell her I was fast like an Olympic swimmer. And Kevin even jumped off a rock a bunch of times. Oh, he's coming back for more. Come on, Kev. Jump. There you go. No, it's not. Look at that, that is so cute. They're just tootling around you, Liam. Those loons sure were going crazy on the lake, but you know what they say, crazy as a loon. Crazy as a loon. After we shook ourselves dry, off we went. You gotta do the little wiggle. This is the stretch we have to do when we enter the canoe. And shake, shake, shake. Kevin's shaking. Biscuit's owning the island right now. It was a great canoe trip. Okay, so the canoe trip's over. No fish, we did claim an island, and the dogs had a blast swimming. That was really fun. Hey, guys, hi. Okay, now, because we need to use the fire pit, we're gonna have to move the uh, gazebo back. It didn't really work out as we planned. Supper is served, and it's steamy hot. Well done, boys. Holy, look at the steam coming. Oh, the power. I see looking at <laughs> Later, we went on another night hike and saw a frog. Maybe it was Kermit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, there must be some mistake. Don't you know me? I'm, I'm Kermit the Frog. Okay, so this marks the end of our second day, um, our wet day. It's all over except for this big storm that's supposed to happen at about 12.30 a.m. Other than that, it's going to be dry. Yep. Yep. Hopefully he's, not. And there's Kevin. He's cleaning himself. Good boy, Kev. Are you tired? Or are you just going to chase the light again? Yeah, you'll, yeah, it's never over. Kevin, come here, bud. Do you want some thunder sheets, Kevin? Uh, so it is now 11.40, and there's like a big thunderstorm going on again is your brother keeping you company oh <laughs> good night biscuit good night Kev the next morning we woke daddy up by squishing his legs he had cramps So we went out and had our breakfast while the boys slept. They sleep a lot. Then it was time to take down the tent and get ready to go. I did a good job supervising from the hammock. Hi Kev, are you ready to help? Tent's coming down and biscuit there as usual. This is the job we get Scott to do every year. He thinks they're the only reason why we invite him. Discovery Trail, the finale of the camping trip. Once we were all packed up and it was off for our final Discovery Trail hike. This was super fun because we got to run off leash. Ooh. <laughs> Kevin
Coming went a little feral. Then it was time for a final swim. Boy, we love swimming. Okay, this water is like zero. It is so freaking cold right now. I'm coming again. What? Scott, what is that? This is the bear attack that I got attacked oh, by. Oh, or, or a Kevin. Or Kevin. <laughs> Yikes. Camping was officially over and we headed back to the car. Boys Camping 2023 and Biscuit is now officially over. We're going to head home and the dogs are going to sleep the whole way. We'll see and that's our big adventure, Grandma. We wore ourselves out and slept a lot, which for Kevin means about 30 minutes. I have lots of energy. Now don't worry, Grandma. We're going to let you come with us next year so you can have fun too. Even if Daddy says you are 80 and don't want to camp anymore. How can anyone not want to camp? I'll race you in swimming and you can have a rock jumping competition with Kevin. Love you. Wowls are the bestest. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Did you do it? Did you? Good job. Good human. Want a cookie? Love you.